And Dara is here this morning. A lot of folks ask me, uh, you know, we've been doing this for, I don't know, a year and a half, maybe two years, where every Friday, of course, we feature a guest and they say, what is the, what is the criteria? What, what do you need to, you know, what do, what do I need to do to become a guest DJ on the program? And I've decided that you need to, you need to be on the Dr. Oz show. And anyone who has ever appeared on the Dr. Oz show is eligible to be on this program today. So we found someone. And it wasn't easy. Jamie Vendera is here. Jamie, good morning to you. Good morning. You know, let me uh, let me point out then for those that may be watching uh, on our website, magic979.com, clicking on demand, uh, they they will immediately look at you like I do, and and say he looks like a rock star. <laughs> you know, um, we're into that show Ghost Hunters, my wife and I, and we met um, Justin Perry a couple years ago, and we walked in. And he looked at me and said the same thing. He said, you look like a rock star. And I'm just, <laughs> that's just me. That's, that's just, just you. That's but, just, now, now, but you have some, I mean, you, you are a rock star per se. I mean, you're uh, a star, but I mean, you're into, you're into music and such, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you a singer? Yeah, I'm a singer. Um, I don't sing as much as I should, but, uh, well, I'm forced to now with everything that I'm doing. But mainly I, I teach voice. You know, I've got a lot of famous clients. Some of them you probably play on this station. So, uh, give me some names. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're playing any Kevin Rudolph is uh, my latest I'm, client. I'm his, familiar with that. His new uh, record uh, drops Tuesday. Thriving Ivory, uh, Angels on the Moon was a big song last year. A lot of harder bands like Dream Theater, uh, Dweezil Zappa, his singer Frank Zappa. So, so these people come to you and you teach them how to use their voice effectively in music? Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm more of a voice strengthening specialist, so a record company will call me when they say, hey, our client's on the road, they got to cancel a show, uh, they can't hit the notes, and so I'll spend a couple days with them and iron them out, and then they go right through it. Um, even when they're sick, there's a band called Ultra Bridge. Um, it's Creed with the new singer, Miles mm -hmm. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. And Miles called me up. He was really sick. They were in Columbus. I, f I ran up there. I worked with him. He got through the show. He canceled his doctor appointment, and he sang for about another week, week and a half. He was completely ill, but he made it through every show. Wow. So you're working with all of these famous clients and, and all these, these names that, that, that you're giving me. It seems like you should be living in, I don't know, New York, <laughs> uh, L.A., and, and, I, and they, they, these famous people call you and you're in, and, and nothing, nothing against it because I have relatives that live there, but you say, I'm in Franklin Furnace, Ohio. <laughs> One of my, well, actually the old singer from Journey, Stephen Algeri, said this to me. He says, you're like the unknown rock star of vocal coaches. You're, what are you doing hiding in Ohio? Well, I, you know, I grew up here, um, and we're, we're, I'm sure we're going to move. You know, my wife wants to live on the beach, and, you know, so do I. Yeah. But it, it, it takes a lot of work. You know, this isn't easy work. It isn't like I'm rich. You know, people think because I do TV shows and I write books that I'm out there making a killing living, and it's it's, it's tough, you know. I've been doing this for about 16 years. Jamie Vendera is here. He can break glass with his voice, by the way. We'll talk more about that in a moment on Magic 97.9.